This video is brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe and help get this video to 2,000 likes. Zagwa is leading a group of kittens back to the palace when her older brother Dongwa pulls a sneak attack. I am an eagle and I'm gonna catch one of your chicks. Why does that voice sound familiar? The kittens continue to play until Dongwa's dumbass runs headfirst into a barrel. Dongwa is now bedridden with a sprained paw and Dongwa feels absolutely horrible about it. If I hadn't moved out of the way, you wouldn't have crashed into the barrel. That's true! Dongwa takes full advantage of his sister's guilt by making her his personal servant. The next morning, Dongwa's paw is fully healed. Instead of telling everyone the truth, Dongwa decides to milk his injury for as long as possible. He tells Zagwa he won't be able to help her with their weekly chores, which is bad enough, but why the hell are cats doing human chores? That afternoon, Zagwa and her bat friend Fufu go to check on Dongwa when they catch him doing Tai Chi. The fuck? Are these super cats? Zagwa realizes her brother has been faking his injury and decides to teach him a lesson. The two tell him about the arrival of a grand ship and Dongwa stupidly runs to ask his mom if they can go. Dongwa's ruse is exposed and his mom punishes him by making him do the rest of the chores himself. And again, why are the house pets doing people jobs? Also, there's a subplot about Sensei Topham Hat running his advisor ragged with endless rule decrees and mind-numbing chores. And I mean, I would feel bad for the advisor, but that's literally his job. Still, the magistrate goes out of his way to compliment the advisor on his work ethic and rewards him for his hard work, making him nicer than 90% of the bosses I've ever had, including myself. Dongwa realizes he's been a horrible older brother and apologizes to Zagwa. She helps him finish the chores and the two go to see the boat together. It's only a model. If there's ever anything I can do for you, just name it. I swear, I've heard that voice before somewhere. It's not my fault if you made a plane that can't fly. Wait a goddamn minute. All this attention is great! It can't be. So, how's the paw today? But that would mean... Let's see who can tell the scariest story. But what about... Do I seem old to you? Are you having cake? Oh. My. God. Let's review. Cat DW injured himself and milked his pain and suffering for all it was worth. He guilt-tripped his younger sister Fern into doing all his chores and waiting on him paw and foot. When his leg healed, he pretended to still be hurt to get more attention from his father, Nigel Catburn. When Fern caught on to her brother's scheme, she tricked him into stupidly exposing himself to their mother, Bitsy Baxter. And it was only after his punishment that he realized he was being a horrible sibling and apologized for lying to everyone. F you, Cat DW. Is there a cartoon you want me to talk about? Patrons who join my $10 tier can pick which shows I cover on It's Just a Cartoon. There's a limited number of slots available, so sign up now. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play, and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. 